Hi guys, Jeremy here, tacticalclassroom.com. Today's video, we're going to take a look at a wind formula uh, based on the 6.5 projectiles. All right, it was originally developed uh, in Europe and so designed for people that uh, read the wind in meters per second. Uh, however, uh, can be altered uh, to work with uh, for users that uh, work in miles per hour as well. So uh, if you're shooting 6.5, um, stick around and um, I'll give you the lowdown on, on how to use this formula. All right, so lesson overview. Uh, it's going to be a PowerPoint lesson, and um, I'm going to explain the concept of the 6.5 wind formula and, of course, how to use it. All right, there's going to be some practical exercises, so I should get a pen and paper uh, good to go. Okay, by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to demonstrate an understanding of the 6.5 wind formula and, of course, use it to um, quickly account for wind deflection in the field. Okay, so firstly, in terms of what a wind formula is, okay, a wind formula is generally a quick and easy uh, formula that allows a shooter to uh, quickly determine an approximate wind adjustment or hold to account for the wind deflection. Okay, so if time's critical, you don't have time to um, go through um, wind data cards or whatever, um, this formula will get you uh, in the ballpark. All right. Uh, as with all wind formulas, simplicity is king. Okay, we don't try to make them too complicated, otherwise they're, just, they're not practical to use in the field. Okay, and, and so they stick with uh, elementary mathematics. Uh, in terms of the uh, wind formula limitations, okay, they're never going to be minute of angle accurate. All right, they're never going to be as accurate as ballistic data straight from a ballistic solver um, or anything like that. But you know, they they usually what I'd say is minute of man or minute of bad guy. Okay, so they're accurate enough to get you in the ballpark, and any follow-up shot can be um, corrected uh, pretty quickly because you'll be pretty close. All right. Um, at the end of the day, we're using a a wind speed that is essentially our, our best guess, okay, because we don't know exactly what the wind's doing anyway. All right, so if the point of impact isn't spot on, you know, was the error our wind call or was it the formula, okay, or a bit of both, you know, so. All right, so how it works. All right, so basically with the 6.5 wind formula, you take the first number of the range and you divide it by two, which gives you a constant, all right, for the formula. Okay, you then multiply the wind speed by that constant. Okay, so for meters per second users, okay, this will give you an adjustment um, in your in clicks or in mils. Okay, uh, if you work in miles per hour, there's just that uh, an additional step whereby you divide that uh, that final number by two, all right? And this will give you your adjustment. Okay, so how it works. Okay, here's an example um, you can take a look at. If you're dealing with a three meters per second wind, let's say six mile an hour. Okay, at 600 meters. Okay, you take that 600 and you take that first number, which is 6. Okay, divided by 2 gives you 3. 3 multiplied by the wind speed, which in this case 3 meters per second, gives you 9 clicks, aka 0.9 mils. Now, for miles per hour users, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Uh, 3 multiplied by 6 is 18. 18 divided by 2, which is that final step, gives us 9 clicks. Okay. Moving on to example 2. Okay, so let's say uh, you're dealing with a 5 metres per second wind this time, so around 10 mile an hour uh, at 800 metres. Okay, you take that, that range number of 800, take that first number, which is 8, divide it by 2, and that gives you 4. Okay, from there you go 4 multiplied by the wind speed, which in this case, 5 metres per second, gives us 20 clicks, aka 2 mils. Now, if we're working in miles per hour, we'd 8 divided by 2 gives us 4, 4 multiplied by uh, 10 mile an hour gives us 40. 40 divided by 2 gives us 20 clicks, okay, aka 2 mils. Right, so here's some examples for you guys to work through. Um, as you go through, once you've had the question, pause the video, um, go through your formula, whether you use meters per second, whether you use mile per hour, doesn't matter. Um, go through it, see what um, result you get. Um, restart the video and uh, see if what you get matches up with, uh, with the results here. All right, so question one. In this scenario, you're dealing with a two meters per second or five mile an hour wind 
and you're at 400 meters. Okay, what's your adjustment or hold for wind deflection? As I said, pause the video, come back to me when, you're, uh, when you've got an answer. All right, moving on. So here we go. Four divided by two gives us two. All right, two multiplied by two gives us four clicks, aka 0.4 mils. All right, now if we're working in miles per hour, four divided by two, once again, two. Two multiplied by four gives us eight. And then that final step for mile per, miles per hour users, eight divided by two gives us four clicks, aka 0.4 mils. All right, question two. Okay, in this scenario, you're dealing with a seven meters per second wind, aka or close enough to 14 mile an hour, and you're at 800 meters. All right, what's your adjustment or hold uh, for wind deflection? Pause the video and come back to me and check your answers with, uh, with our answers. All right, so in this case, eight is the first number from 800 meters divided by two gives us four. Okay, four multiplied by seven, which is our wind speed, gives us 28 clicks, aka 2.8 mils. All right, um, miles per hour users, eight divided by two gives us four once again. Four multiplied by 14 gives us 56. Okay, then we take that 56 and do that final step, which is divided by two, which gives us 28 clicks, aka 2.8 mils. All right, so our final question, question three. All right, in this, in this scenario, you're dealing with a six meters per second, 12 mile an hour wind, okay, and you're at 500 meters. Okay, what is your adjustment slash hold uh, for wind deflection? Pause the video here. Um, once you've got yourself an answer, uh, restart the video and just uh, check your answer with the our ones. All right, so in this case, 500 meters, so five divided by two gives us 2.5. 2.5 times six gives us 15, okay? So for meters per second users, that's at 15 clicks, aka 1.5 mils. Okay, if we're mile an hour users, we've obviously got that final step, okay? So five divided by two gives us 2.5. 2.5 multiplied by 12 mile an hour gives us an answer of 30, okay? 30 divided by two gives us 15 clicks, aka 1.5 mils, okay? So pretty simple, uh, pretty simple formulas or formula. Uh, like I said, uh, not minute of angle accurate, um, but it'll get you in the ballpark, okay? And um, really, it's, it's, uh, it's a great uh, formula if, you, if, if time is of the essence, okay? You don't have time to um, work out you know, um, work out your win through a ballistic solver, or you don't have access to your data cards, or it's going to take too long to, to get to them and refer to them. Okay, this will get you in the ballpark um, pretty quickly. All right. So, in terms of a recap, all right, we've looked at the 6.5 win formula. Uh, we talked about the limitations, and uh, of course, we've discussed how you can use it. All right, we've used some examples. Okay, and from there. Uh, you've gone on and uh, you've completed some practical exercises using that formula. All right, and hopefully you had some success. All right, so by way of conclusion, um, from now you should be able to go forward and, and explain this uh, formula uh, to others and you know discuss the limitations and so on and so forth. All right, you've demonstrated your knowledge of it, hopefully, by uh, getting getting those answers correct. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're at question time. Uh, in this training session so like I said if you've got questions get in touch leave a comment below I mean I appreciate those anyway so um, yeah uh, got any questions about the training or about the, the formula get in touch with me either using the comments or head over to tacticalclassroom.com and um, and send me an email all right and I'll do my best to to clarify any questions you've got um, in terms of uh, the presentation itself um, obviously it's a slightly different format to the, the previous uh, PowerPoint formats. Um, if you prefer this, this type of format, what I'd really appreciate is if you could leave a comment uh, below uh, saying which, uh, which version you preferred. So um, yeah, that'd be really great. Uh, until then, I'll see you in the next video.